Venice becomes the front line in the battle against overtourism. Strolling down a tiny street in Venice's San Marco district, a couple pauses in front of a handcrafted leather goods castle, one of hundreds of authentically. Watch. It's a scene frequently replayed across the city, and one that's now almost as famous as Venice's medieval piazzas, its architecture and artworks and its winding waterways echoing to the songs of gondoliers. Venice received more than 36 million international tourists in 2017, a near 10% rise on the previous year. While travelers, from April to October, an estimated 32,000 cruise ship passengers disembark here daily, according to the Port Authority. In August, many Venetians believe that everyone should have a chance to experience the beauty of their city, but say that a constant swell of tourists is ruining the experience for everyone. Cruise ships have caused significant environmental damage to the city's waterways and lagoons. Short visits put a strain on the city's overstretched infrastructure, and cheap Airbnb rentals have driven up the cost of accommodation and living conditions for locals, some of whom have decided to leave altogether. Tourists have been visiting Venice since the early 18th century and have always been a vital part of the cityscape. But how to keep that space? But for years, local authorities argue they've been taking those steps. In November 2017, Italy's government announced a ban on cruise ships weighing over 100,000 tons from entering from Venice's Grand Canal, instead diverting them to Marghera, a neighboring industrial area. A. Last spring, city authorities brought in turnstiles designed to end some of the city's most crowded arteries over a long holiday weekend. And in the high season, English-speaking police assistance, known as decorum. Now, Venice is planning to take its most controversial step yet. In September, a new measure requiring day trippers to have up to $11C10 will come into effect. Tourists overnight, Simone Venturini, Venice's deputy mayor and councillor for economic development, tell CNN Travel that the money will go towards costs such as waste and security management A. Day trippers who benefit from city services without spending much inside Eath City itself will, he says, add. We. While the authorities believe the fee will help make the city more sustainable for tourists and locals alike, others say it's an undemocratic, exclusionary system that also draws parallels to an amusement park. Across Europe, cities are struggling to tackle over-tourism. In Belgium, is cutting advertising for day trips and reducing the number of cruise ships allowed to dock at Zeebrug port. S soaring visitor numbers reached 18 million in 2018, prompting the Netherlands Tourism Board to halt advertising campaigns, stating that its focus is now on destination. Marco Gasparinetti, an environmental lawyer and spokesperson for Venice's largest activist group, told CNN Travel that American tourists sometimes ask him when Venice closes. Gasparinetti believes that the proposed access fee skirts Venice's real problem with overcrowding and won't deter tourists. His group, for Venice to be enjoyed by tourists, the city also needs to exist as a place for everyday life, he says. Fifty years ago, approximately 150,000 people lived in the city. Now, only some between an aging population and a highly educated young population looking for work opportunities outside of the tourism sector, Venice sees a net loss of around 1,000 inhabitants a year. We Although the city attracts new residents each year, they tend to be extremely wealthy, Gasparinetti notes, saying that the city is losing its middle class. Meanwhile, many Venetians who leave end up renting out their apartments on Airbnb, which some say encourages more tourists than the city is equipped to handle. Artist Deirdre Kelly, who has lived in the city for 15 years, believes that instead of focusing on a tourist tax, the Venice Authority should try to manage Airbnb and other rental schemes. It. 
it. Tourism and tourism sector jobs are the staple of life for many inhabitants. Venice's Port Authority 30. It's Still, Mussolino believes that it's time to start thinking about creating jobs outside of the tourism sector, agreeing that limiting the amount of travelers at certain times of the year would help. It's I Drop, 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 drop,